Is that at all frustrating or challenging? And, and how do you handle that? You know, the, the workload, I guess, of what you get in practice versus the game. Right. We have a great veteran group ahead of me. Uh, Leighton J, Micah, uh, Keanu, those guys, they've helped out tremendously, especially Luke. So uh, just learning from them uh, early on. I know it's a learning curve, but once I get my opportunity, uh, I try to make the most of it. Uh, depending on if I get one snap or 10 snaps, I'm trying to make the most of those opportunities. Yeah, I think just the mental side of things. I think physically uh, I feel ready, but just uh, just learning the whole playbook as a whole, what other people are doing, I already know what I'm doing, so just uh, understanding the D-line, their movements, and also the back end. One of the talking points about you in the draft process was tackling ability. Did you, and critical, mm -hmm. I should say, um, did you notice that during the draft process, and have you put any added emphasis on that? It doesn't seem like it's been a problem for you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I knew that was one of my weaknesses coming in that uh, people said. So I just took it upon myself, especially during uh, during the training sessions, just try to get as much uh, tracking and tackling practice that I could. So once I come here, uh, I'll be ready. So I think it helped out. Do you have a good idea yet on what they envision your role will be going into the season? Or do you think that's something they're, they're still need to talk to you about and you need to find out? Yeah, right now I know uh, special teams, that's something that uh, – I'm really uh, looking forward to just winning my one-on-ones, but whenever they call my name, uh, I'll be ready. How many special teams have you done in the past? Oh, a lot. Uh, every At North Dakota State, that's how I really got on the field with special teams. And then LSU, uh, I played punt. So uh, I've always been on special teams. And your core special teamer right now, or, or, what, what units are you playing on? Yeah, right now uh, I'm playing on all four. So uh, uh, during each preseason game, I've been getting my uh, fair share of them. So uh, I just love special teams, winning my one-on-ones. What do you love uh, what do you love most about them, or what do you think kind of Definitely, it's a, a tempo setter. Uh, you make a big play, uh, the defense goes out, or the offense, they can uh, capitalize off of that. So that's what I like, just getting a lot of people uh, hyped and the energy going. What's it like when you're on Micah day-to-day? You see a little bit of a hard uh -huh. you know, but you know, Tank told us a great challenge. What's the first Micah, uh, he's definitely, he's a great guy. He's one of those guys, uh, if, you, if you don't really know him, you're kind of skeptical. But once you get to know him, uh, he's really like my uh, best friends uh, once we got here. Uh, we talk every day. He helps me out. We always compete. So he's one of those guys that's just great for the team. How would you, you mentioned a little bit, how would you describe his personality? Or like, give us a glimpse uh -huh. of what he's like in the team meetings. Yeah, uh, he definitely says what's on his mind. So uh, that's one thing. So there's no holding him back. But uh, he works hard. That's something that uh, I really like about him. Uh, he really works hard and comes to work every day. In the, uh, just in the preseason games and here in practice, what's the major difference in, in your coverage of guys here than what you had in college? Has it been a, a pretty big leap? And if so, what are the biggest differences? Uh, could you repeat that? Uh, uh, just mm -hmm. keeping up, I mean, the, the, the tight ends and back you've mm -hmm. here versus yeah. what you were doing in college. Is it a pretty significant difference, or, or how would you characterize that? Yeah, in college, uh, we had athletic guys, but here, uh, everybody's good. So you have to uh, just find a different way to uh, just try to beat them, which is leverage. It's all about leverage in this game. So uh, a lot of guys try to stem you uh, different ways, try to get you. So uh, it's really uh, it's really been the same for me. What stands in that special style been like to learn? Yeah, it's been really a laid back teaching. Uh, he's one of those guys that if you get it wrong, he wants you to get it right the next one. So he's uh, very helpful in that aspect, but he's not really a raw, raw guy. But uh, once you get him to that point, then you know that, oh, okay, I got to pick it up. But uh, he's one of those guys that's just willing to help you learn. How can you track your progress on how much of the speed you learned or how quickly you're able to apply it when you're on the field? Uh, definitely uh, just the gameplay, uh, the amount of plays I make, uh, whether it be in – uh, a few that come my way or not, but um, just the amount of plays that I make when it comes my way. All right, cool. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it.